Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is February 25th, 2013. This is Texan TV News from Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas, and I'm Nick Duvall. In today's headlines, Tarleton student fee hearings take place today. Tarleton hosts FFA officer preparation workshop. Local gun rally supports Second Amendment rights. Texas budget cuts are set to take effect this week. Former NYPD officer reveals cannibalistic thoughts. U.S. Secretary of State hopes to help end violence overseas. NASCAR crash injures many fans and crowd, as well as today's weather. And now for today's top story. Tarleton State is holding student fee hearings today, February 25th at noon in the Science Building in Room 111. If you could not attend the noon session, they will be held again today at 5 p.m. in Room 111 of the Science Building. All students are encouraged to attend. According to the Tarleton website, Current fees included in tuition are a student fee of $19.80 per semester credit hour, a one-time freshman fee of $125, a recreational sports fee of $100 for an average semester, a student center fa facility fee of $3.96 per credit hour, a student health center fee of $4.91 per credit hour, and a $25 yearbook fee for each spring semester. The student fee advisory committee, which is comprised of five students and four Tarleton representatives, hosts the fee hearings. Meetings will discuss student fees at Tarleton for the academic year 2013 and 2014. In other campus news, according to the Tarleton Texans website, a Texas Farmstead Cheese Company will come to the W.K. Gordon Center for a free public program on Sunday, March 3, 2013 at 2.30 p.m. to share the art of cheese making for a little for a little over a decade, this family-owned company has been producing a wide variety of na all-natural cheeses on their farms near Dublin. Come discover how this local cheese industry is trying to perfect the cheese wheel. Afterwards, sample a few of their best products. According to Tarleton.edu, Tarleton will host the FFA Officer Preparation Workshop Tuesday. Over 50 high school FFA members will attend the workshop, which is Tarleton's first ever officer preparation course. The event, being put on by Tarleton's Collegiate FFA Chapter and the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences, is specifically designed for FFA members interested in running for office within the organization. The workshop will feature faculty members critiquing participants, campaign speeches, and interview techniques. Tarleton is offering the course free of charge. For more information on the event, call Kurt Mahoney at 254-968-9460. In regional news, supporters of the Second Amendment gathered at Erath County Courthouse Saturday to voice their growing concerns on the issue of gun control. A number of elected officials were on hand, some to speak, others in support of the rally alongside their fellow Texans. Republican Chairman Danny Pelton led the rally and made introductions for speakers. The speakers included Raz Schaefer, a representative from the U.S. Senator Ted Cruz's office, Congressman Roger Williams, and keynote speaker and Tarleton professor, professor of criminal justice, Dr. George Eichenberg. They spoke passionately about the gun control issue concerning the American public. The men stood on the courthouse steps and spoke to an estimated 150 citizens. Guns are not the problem with violence in America, said Williams. It's not the guns we need to be concerned with. It's who is carrying the guns. Taking, taking our guns away won't stop the cartels from arming their men. It won't stop the criminals from obtaining guns but it will stop us from being able to protect our families. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. In Texas news, federal budget, budget cuts scheduled to take effect, to take effect this week threaten the, to cut funds in Texas for education. The environment, public health, and law enforcement, $67.8 million will be cut from education possibly eliminating 930 teacher positions funding for public health response will be cut by $2.4 million. $8.5 million will be lost for environmental funding. About $1.1 million will be cut from grants that support law enforcement and the courts. These budget cuts are expected to occur this Friday. The White House says that states may be able to reallocate funds, but that depends on how states have their budgets structured. In national news, an NYPD officer charged with unauthorized use of a law enforcement database and planning a kidnapping is now revealing details of his intentions. Gilberto Valle, known as the Cannibal Cop, has admitted to thinking of kidnapping, cooking, and eating the bodies of young women. 
The 28-year-old father and former patrol officer will appear in front of a New York jury this afternoon to begin trial. At least 100 potential victims were found in a file on Valley's computer along with their personal information. Another man was also charged with conspiring with Valley in the scheme. In international U news, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry went on overseas voyage as a mission to bring new ideas to capitals in Europe and in the Middle East. He hopes to end nearly two years of violence in Syria. Kerry left Washington to start a demanding trip that will go to nine nations in ten days. It will take him to America's traditional Western European allies of Britain, France, and Italy, along with Turkey, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Qatar. Kerry said he is eager to discuss new ways of proceeding with Syrian President Bashar Assad to step down and usher in a democratic change in the country. The country has been wracked by increasing violence that has killed at least 70,000 people. Kerry begins his trip in London where he will see senior British bureaucrats on a range of issues. Kerry will not travel to Israel or the Palestinian territories. He will wait to visit them when he accompanies President Barack Obama there in March. In sports news, a crash occurred in the final lap of the NASCAR race at the Daytona International Speedway on Saturday. 33 people were injured in this accident. Of those, at least six people were sent to the hospital with traumatic injuries. The crash happened when sev several tightly packed cars had been vying for a position at top speed. They got jumbled up, causing a chain reaction that trapped several vehicles. Drival driver Kyle Larson's car slammed into the fence, causing debris to strike the fans. Ambulances were lined up on the track, and some first responders carried stretchers. The crash took place at the same track in Florida, where Sunday's Daytona 500 was held. Incidentally, the race had recently restarted after a separate wreck in which driver Michael Annette had been hurt. It was history in the making for women in this sport this weekend. Danica Patrick became the first woman ever to compete in a NASCAR race on Sunday. She came in eighth place, with Jimmy Johnson placing first. On Saturday evening, the Ultimate Fighting Championship welcomed women in the fighting octagon for the first time ever. Ronda Rousey defeated Liz Carmachi at UFC 157 in the opening round by submission. And in weather, according to theweatherchannel.com, today's forecast shows a high of 49 degrees with a low of 34 degrees. It will be partly cloudy and very windy with a 20% chance of precipitation. Today's broadcast was produced by Ian Traub, Lance McFarlane, Becca Burnett, and Julie Gutierrez. You can follow Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter. Also, check us out on www.texannews.net. I'm Nick Duvall. Tune in tomorrow for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.